Hi, I'm Miles1292 and I'm here again today to show you a welding conflict with my 9800 GX2 SLI system with a QX9650 overclocked to 3.51 GHz on an EVGA 790i Ultra SLI motherboard. Today I'm showing you welding conflict as it's one of the um, more harder games to run today and uh, it's a really good benchmark for a lot of high-end systems from you see, you see my, from a lot of reviews now I'm just uh, mucking around here on the um, second level which is after the uh, assault on Sattel um, I chose this level because as you'll see later on in the video there's a uh, it's not really an, a big battle not an epic battle but it's uh, there's quite a lot of AI and physics particle particle effects going on in it so it's uh, one of the best ones best parts to showcase here you can see um, it's one of the sort of a cool thing I like about the game is um, when you zoom right in on people you can zoom right into these little tanks and guys over here and you can see all the textures are still crisp and perfect which is a really nice little feature as they've um, the attention to detail in this game is quite good. Now here's where we go to uh, start focusing on the battle. You can see the troops in red and the ones I'm fighting are starting to come in. I'm not the best at this game and haven't completed it yet. I've had it for a long time, I haven't had time to play it. I'll give it my best shot. And you can see um, the smoke effects and uh, particles are starting to kick up a bit now. So use some tactical aids and. Uh, Look at the effects and they have, and what effects they have on the frame rate. Now you watching the video can't see the frame rate, but while recording this, I could. I uh, didn't know how to make it show. I've no idea, but um, the frame rate doesn't go above 60 because I've got VSync on. So I don't know what the, um, the minimum I've had on this level is about 39. I think at the lowest I saw it go. So it's not dropping below the 30 zone. It's staying high, usually in the 40s, 50s. This is on a Vista 32-bit, Vista Ultimate, if anyone's wondering. Only using 2 gigabyte of RAM here. If anyone might be interested, I've got a video coming up this June of um, it's going to be the th a video review in three parts of the GeForce GTX 280. I'm going to have them in SLI, two of them. I'll be reviewing them uh, three parts. Part one will be uh, uh, opening the boxes and having a look inside, and then in its installation. Part two will be um, game tests. Uh, so all of part two will be game tests and part three will be a uh, finishing of the game tests and conclusion uh, what I think of the cards and whether they're worth their money like these cards I have here I'm not expecting them to be a uh, too amazing the first stages like these cards the drivers did need to uh, usually find after about two or three months there it's starting to become quite fine for me and uh, before anyone asks I'm not uh, selling my uh, GX2s I'll be uh, doing a step up program with EBGA 
a video for the review of those cards should be up on about 20th to the 23rd of June. The release date is 17th or 18th of June for the cards. Oh, I should have them by the 20th, I think. Back to the video, it's um, really nice. All the explosions happening and dust and smoke. Still not affecting frame rate too badly. Still running really well. Start bombing everything now. See if we can stress the system out a bit more. So we see it's all starting to hail down, blow everything up. Frame rate is still not affected. If anyone's running these, is this is the 175.16 WHQL drivers. I'm sticking with these until I haven't, until I, you know, find any problems, then I'll find a need to upgrade. And there's the gameplay. It's cut into a cutscene now to see the uh, bridge explode right there. Still staying at a nice frame rate. There's a uh, minor little hitches in this in this video. This is because uh, Fraps is recording this video at my full screen resolution, 1920 by 1200 here. The game is on maximum settings. Got everything maxed out, except for anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering. That's the end of the video. Um, remember to check back and subscribe. Um, comment or rate my videos and thank you for watching.